Michael. You're new here, aren't you? I don't remember. I don't remember. Or I should say I don't recall that name. I'm going to get a drink of water. Hold on. So I definitely prefer coffee, but water is much better for me. So let's do the water thing. How's everybody doing today, you guys? Oh, you're welcome, Courtney. I'm so excited for you. That that was a very big um, surprise. I was so, so happy because Tory Burch is expensive. Hi, Bonnie. Hi, Lori. How is everybody today? Are you guys enjoying your Friday today? Today was a very relaxing, just, you know, it was so nice. I just stayed around the house and I should have cleaned, but I just relaxed and enjoyed life and with my puppy dogs and my son, because today's Reed's last weekday off from spring break. So I'm just enjoying it with him, enjoying. I didn't go thrifting. I didn't go to TJ Maxx, none of that stuff. So I'm like literally loving. Did, do you like them, Renee? I hope you like them. Oh, good. So I had a request to do a, um, a collection of my vintage purses, which I'm happy to do because it's, it's a new obsession. Hi, Twana. How are you? It's, it's a new, I guess I'd say obsession because, well, I don't know if I'm obsessed yet, but I really, really do love them. So um, instead of making just a really short video, I thought that maybe I'd show you my vintage purses and then also, excuse me, we'll just chit chat and stuff. Oh, sorry, JMC. Yeah, that I'm selling my stuff quite quickly. So if there's anything that you really find that you like or that you're interested in please hit me up right away um i've i sold a lot a lot a lot of things that i had up oh thank you barbara thank you so much feeling great today it was such a beautiful day here and nice and warm and it was really really a beautiful day today enjoyable day not too hot not cold just kind of very very enjoyable oh i should have made some tea that's what I should have done with my, can you guys see that? My little tea set back here. I just love it. I still, I haven't used it yet. It's still sitting here. I really, really need to use it. My pretty little teacups. Hi, Bridget. If you see me going like this, it's because the names that are coming up are very little. I'm using my phone. And then these are the little saucers. Here's my teacup and my little saucer. And then I have my little teapot. And I got to use this, you guys. Tea is delicious. Isn't that sweet? I love it. I got them all at TJ Maxx a little while ago. So yeah. So thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who sent prayers online for me for Randy. That means so, so much. Hi, Marie. That was so awesome of you guys. And just, it really, really mean, meant the world to me. And, um, Randy probably won't be able to read them until this job is over, but I did tell him and he he said thank you to everybody. So yeah, it was, it was really, really, thank you guys. It really meant everything to us, to our family and for me and for Reed and you know, I really appreciate that. Come here, bug. You want to have a video with me? Come here. Come here. I hear you tippy tapping. Here's my buddy over here. My little buddy girl. Come here, little buddy girl. Okay. Let's get you up here. There we go. You don't want to be in the camera today? Or are you just going to be shy? Oh, you got your hair. Hello. Oh, I got to sneeze. Hold on, guys. Bless you. 
so she loves to come in here but my little my little peaches marie my little white one she doesn't she just is comfortable out on the couch so i'm just gonna let her stay there so yeah how's everybody are you guys enjoying your weekend and having such a lovely lovely friday did you guys work today did you have a day off what did you guys do i was oh i remember i told you on yes today's video was it yes no yesterday's video i said you know what we may go to the beach and go to the goodwill well reed decided to sleep till noon today so i was like yeah no we're not going out to the beach and spending the day because i don't want to sit in five hours of traffic coming home yeah that's that's not fun at all so we'll get there though we will get there it's not even summer yet so we're definitely going to get it going and do lots of beaching here soon so i'm going to show you my purses since i told you that's what i came on here these aren't for sale these are just um, my vintage purse collection and these are not going to be everybody's cup of tea whatsoever because it's not your average little satchel purse little leather hobo or whatever these are very um different and i didn't make any of them i purchased them all they're all thrifted so let me show you what i have um but you can still get um two of these online for sure so this one here is by so i guess it's not vintage then vintage style but it's not it's not like 20 30 40 50 years old whatever but here's the first one and here's who it's by by ziba z-i-b-a if you guys haven't seen it i do have it on my instagram posted and i think it's so so stinking cute um it's made of velvet is it crushed velvet or velour on here and um, it's got like a lace trim and the whole entire lace trim are full of the sequins talk about a pop of something with a plain outfit right and it's got these really great little um they're little beads and stones and there's a string of three Can you guys see that okay? And then this little lace piece here also has stones and little embroidered flowers on it. And then there's the side. And the back even, I guess I could take this off. I'm gonna use it. The back even has some really cool detail on it. The zipper goes slanted down like that. So it's got a little back pocket for your goodies. And then it has um, this really, really cute little tassel on it this came on it but this didn't I just hung that on there because I thought it was really cute I love little charmy things and it just makes me happy I really like it a lot and it's got one little strap and the strap has like little flowers on the sides and it has this really pretty I know you crafters will definitely know the names of everything on this bag but it has that on the strap with the lace and let's see what's the bottom look like the bottom is just the velour like this a crushed velvet and then it's got this great twist lock closure and i'll take the take out the paper for you and it's nice and roomy and it's got a little slip pocket in there so you guys know that I've really uh, toned down what I put in my purses. So this fits everything and more that I need right now. Okay, so that's the first one. And here's the name in case you guys want to Google it, eBay it, Mercari, Poshmark. It's Z-I-B-A. And I believe they're about $40, 40 or $45. And I think I paid like two... It was on one of my videos. Was it between $2.99 and $4.99, something like that? I don't remember exactly. But yes, this is my first one. Okay. Um, this is actually a first one. This was my... You know what we'll do? Yeah, we'll do this one now. This one I found at Savers as well. This is from Savers. And this one's from Savers. This one is for sure vintage. Um, 
This is probably about from the 1950s and it has really pretty underneath the little rose gold sequins has a brocade, like a gold stitch brocade. And each one of these little flowers are metal and they're silver, not real silver, but just painted silver. I think it's beautiful. And this thing is big. This one's really big. Like, yeah, I can compare later, but, um, it looks like that. The detail on it is so beautiful. And it has this brass hard handle, only one handle to carry on the crook of your arm or in your hand like this. Um, let's see, what else can I show you? It's got this really neat, uh, what is this called here, you guys? This pretty like lacing detail right there. I need a crafter with me right now to help me out with what I'm working on here. The back is plain and it does have some little, it's weird. It's got one little spot here, but it looks like more than that and it's really not. So just one little spot there. And then it's got this really cool clasp up here. You just open it up and it is huge. And at least it also has a hard bottom on it. It's huge, huge, huge. I can stuff all kinds of stuff in here. And I paid, I do remember I paid $5.99 for this one. And I couldn't tell you the name because it was peeled off. But no pockets inside. Um, thinking, I, I just love this purse so much. It's just so beautiful to me. And I really, really love it. So that's this one. Hope you guys are able to see the detail on it. There's like rhinestones there and there. And yeah, it's just beautiful. Okay, so that's that one. Um, can you guys send me an emoji or something so I can see, cause I don't see any comments coming up. Maybe send me an emoji so I'll know that I'm getting your comments. Cause I think I've been missing them. Oof, I'm not getting the comments, you guys, because I know somebody's sending me an emoji. I just know it. All right, so please know right now. Let me see if they're turned on. Okay, let's try that again. Try some emojis again. There we go. Okay, guys, I was missing everybody's doggone I'm getting everybody, Renee, Lori, Marie, everybody I'm getting now and I wasn't getting them a few minutes ago. Gosh darn it. Okay, so then this is quite the beauty right here. This is little, very petite, and it's leather, it's genuine leather. Um, the name on this one is so cool how it opens. First of all, look at the top. This is sterling silver up here. This is about from the 1950s. And then you push a little button here and it opens up. And I actually used this the other day. It was fun, I loved it. I love this one. Um, the name on it is, I know I saw a name, Etra, E-T-R-A. And I did see one of these on eBay for 150. It's such a petite little feminine purse. I really love it. It actually has pockets. It's got a little pocket here and a little pocket here. I actually paid $15 for this one, but considering it's $150 on eBay right now, I consider that a steal. This reminds me of just, can you imagine the stories that was behind this? Isn't it pretty forever? I think it's so pretty. I love the ruching on it and it's so simple, yet so, so pretty. So have that. I like how wide it opens because I can really, I was able to store some, lot, a lot of stuff in it. Okay, so that's that one. And then um, this I bought because I have a little area in my bedroom that's mine and Randy's wedding, like 
our wedding picture and just some wedding memorabilia. This is not from my wedding, but it just went with my decor really pretty. And it's the little coin purse, silver coin purse. Um, it's material, but it's uh, very soft. And it's got little, rhinest little rhinestones all around the top with this really sweet little chain. So if I wanted to wear it, I could, but... So there's that. Very simple. And then it's a little twist lock. And who's it by? It's just made in China, so it's probably like from just some little regular shop or something. Um, but I just like this. It, it looks vintage. It might be. I don't know if it is or not, but I just really love the way it looks. So that's my little silver little beauty to go next to my wedding things in my bedroom. This isn't my bedroom, by the way. This is, in case you're wondering, this is a third bedroom that used to be my daughter's. And I converted it into a little she shed, in case you're new here and wondering, is this my living room or my bedroom? It's neither. It's just my filming room now. And also, if I want to just come in here and be by myself and, you know, vlog, do whatever, that's what this room is for. Okay, this one I just got, yes, yeah, yesterday. How cute is this one? This one is, uh, do you call this raffia or that kind of material? But look at the handle, it's bamboo. It's so, so pretty. It's petite as well. It's bigger than this one, but it's still very petite. But look at the size difference in these two. So you can see. This is probably like the size of a Louis Vuitton Speedy 30. Yes, the clasp is so pretty, you guys. And you just clip it open and it's plain black inside with a little pocket. Cute to take out if I just wanna go to the beach, walk around, have something to eat, or, you know, just take with me. Fits on the crook of my arm as well. And the hand hold it like that. Same on the front and on the back. And there's the sides. So I love that. And then this is the one that's besides this one, you guys. <laughs> Thank you. Besides this one, you guys are probably gonna be, what in the actual heck is she thinking about? Well, I saw it at Savers yesterday and I had to bring it home. And then I saw the name in it and I Googled it and she, I'll give you all that information in a second. Is this, you guys, is this purse me or what? I mean, really, it's not classy. <laughs> It's fun, it's vintage, yet it's still Western, cause you know, I love all of that stuff. Yeah, holy wow, right? You're probably going to Storm Dancer, you're probably like, what, what? <laughs> That's okay. Everybody has different taste, right? So here's the front. It's, it's like a leopard kind of a, you've heard of carpet bags before? It's like a leopard velour kind of carpet. This is a brocade pocket. It's a little slip pocket here. Thank you, Storm Dancer. And then it's got all these little pieces of uh, material on here in mauve and beige. And then this here, is, is that called piping? No, it's not piping, I don't think, that piece there. So that's your antique looking side there. And then the strap is leather. And then you turn it around and it's mauve with horses on the back and gold stars. And this is suede. It's genuine suede. The fringe is real leather. And then it's got this really cool little snap pocket. Yeah, right, Glass? Because you know I do that. I go to a lot of rodeos. Love rodeos. Got one coming up in next month, I think. Here's the inside. So pretty neat i really like it and it has a little pocket here so i just throw it over my shoulder and go i love it i'm really really loving stuff that's not on the market right now stuff that you can't go into tj maxx and find or um judy if you want oh let me tell you who it's by you guys if you google her you guys can look at her bags she's hand makes these and it's by um okay so pure west 
P-U-R-E-W-E-S-T by Cheryl C-H-E-R-Y-L Long, L-O-N-G. So if you, it's, if you guys want one of these, if you're dying to have one or whatever, which maybe two of you are, <laughs> maybe the rest of you are like, oh, no, 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 no. But if you would like to have one, and you, we'd like, you'd like to twin with me, then that's where you could go. Google it. Uh, maybe there might be some on eBay if somebody's selling theirs. What did I pay for this, you guys? I had my tag on it yesterday. Did I pay $5.99? Or something like that I think it was like $5.99 I think but I don't know because I didn't check on and I don't know what the price the prices were so these are my bags these are my vintage bags the only ones I have right now and only ones I really need unless I could find like a light colored cute one thank you unless I were to find like a light colored vintage one that I like but I haven't seen any light colored ones they're all been black and brown but I'm really having fun with these and then the one that I showed in my what's in my bag video which is in the living room it's not vintage but it's definitely not whoa it's definitely you know <gasps> hi Lisa hi sissy poo some people think at least some people think that we you're my real sister so I would love it if she was, but she's my bestest girlfriend. So, um, yeah, that's, that's my vintage bags I wanted to show you. And I know we is, we're, excuse me. Hi from Florida, Paula. Hello from California. How are you doing? Um, let's see, what else do I want to talk to you guys? Is there anything you guys would like to ask me or? Heck, I like Q&As because it keeps me able to keep talking because I'm not much of a chit chatter. So if there's anything you want to know or, let me know <laughs> and the comments have stopped. They're like, no Kim, we know everything there is to know about you. Um, Oh, anybody that ordered purses from me yesterday, they've already been shipped out today. If you ordered your purse from me today, it was shipped out today. I actually got everything from yesterday and today all packaged up and shipped out today. And thank you so much. I really appreciate all of your guys' uh, sale, sales and support. That helps out a lot. Send me an emoji, guys, because I think it's slowing down again. I'm not sure. Uh-oh. Let me refresh it again. Okay, I just refreshed it, so hopefully I'll get your guys's. Hmm. Yep. Does anybody know why this is happening to my live feeds? Why I get comments for like five minutes and then they go away? Oh, my battery is going low. Maybe. Hmm. Well, poopsicles. Now let's try that. Nope, nothing. Well, guys, it looks like I'm going to have to turn this darn chat off. Because, and I just don't understand why it does this. Oh, gosh darn. <sighs> All right, guys. I guess I'll just cut the chat off because I don't know why, but, but there's no more questions rolling. Okay. Now maybe we have... There we go. Now I can see you. Now Courtney's hearts are up. Sis, I see you. And they're gone again. Still here. Okay.
Somebody said that they bought a bag from me on eBay, but I don't sell on eBay, so I don't know what that's about. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, I see. You bought the kimchi blue off eBay and Poshmark. You guys find them? Did you love them? That's cool. I'm happy. I know I'm loving it. I'm still using it a whole three days now. <laughs> I think you guys will really like them if you can handle small bags. I know. It's, I'm not really a chit chatter. I'm, I'm, uh, it's really hard for me to come up with things to talk about. So that's why I have to have people throw questions at me because like, I can't think of stuff off the top of my head. I'm not a good live person at all. But I'm more than willing to answer questions. That's not a problem at all. Uh-oh. I don't see anything again. Okay, I got, the last one I got was Storm Dancer saying she doesn't talk much. Was that the last one, you guys? You watch a video with Lori. I watched her back in 2012 when she was living in Massachusetts. I got that. I think, let me try to refresh it again, you guys. Okay, I just refreshed it again. Let's hope, hope for the best here. Hold on a couple minutes or seconds while it's refreshing or whatever the heck YouTube does to this thing. Oh, you guys, can I ask you to go over and look at uh, somebody's channel? Um, do you guys know Fully Living, F-O-O-L-E-Y Living? It's a um, husband and a wife and they're two precious little ones that live in I'm not allowed to say what, where they live because I'll get demonetized. Oh, why? They live in Israel. Ooh. They're having so much troubles with this. They got all of their comments cut off for some reason, but they're trying to get over to America. You guys really need to watch them. They're the most down-to-earth, real family. And it's funny because Hadar, um, her husband, is in the military, and so they're doing everything they have to do to transfer over. Okay, now that, now, see? Okay, now it's coming up again. Yeah, Courtney, I think you'll really like them. Oh my God, their kids are freaking adorable. Did you see that, Judy, on Facebook? Wasn't that awful? I shared it because I'm hoping that they can get a lot of thumbs up and get their videos, more views. They have a lot of views, but they're having some sort of issues right now, and it's heartbreaking because they are the super real. Love those people. Oh, for crying out loud. I have to keep refreshing this because <sighs> just doesn't seem to be working out right. <sighs> nope, no more comments. Now it'll start. And it's refreshing now. And there we go. How's Randy? I'll call you tonight, huh? I'll call you tonight, Lise. I can't, I can't talk about it here. Have I done what? Fought you on Hi Kim first time you've caught me on live there. Oh, okay, cool. There's a lag, gosh darn it. Maybe that's why the, uh, Comments keep stopping. Is that better, you guys? Any better at all? Caught, not fought. <laughs> it's lagging. I'm so sorry. Is it, is it still lagging right now? Lagging? Good now, okay. Okay, cool, cool. So yeah, um, I will just say right now, Randy, Randy's good, he's exhausted. Um, you can tell I'm sorta got red eyes because I'm worried about him. Didn't sleep well last night. Um, 
Man, that's all I can say. I can't let anything else out. Not here. But at least that I will I will call you. Um, yeah. I'll call you. So how about an update on my father in law? Would you guys like that? Um thank you, Courtney. So as you guys know, my father in law, he's battling cancer right now. And he was on radiation for how long did he do radiation i think he did radiation for about four times or five times something like that and then he did chemo for six months after his surgery and um so through testing and this and that everything was looking okay um but still wanted to do a precautionary chemo use so he had to do another oh gosh what was it august august september october november december january for another eight months of chemo thank you and started having some bleeding problems went back in this past where am i at this past monday the 25th because that was reed's birthday and had to have a procedure done because guess what you guys they think that now he's got radiation cancer, cancer from radiation therapy. This guy cannot catch a break. So it's just like, oh my word, my Lord have mercy. So you know what he did? He went out and he bought a Harley. <laughs> like, good for you, dad, good for you. So he's um, living his life to the fullest, doing the best he can when he feels up to it. And we'll know the results probably within like a week, a week and a half, what's really still going on or what's not going on. So I just really wanted to update you guys on that because I remember it's been a while since I've talked to you about it. So yeah, exactly. He's, you know what? He's like, forget it. I'm not going to sit around here and worry about this and worry about that when I can be on my Harley doing whatever I want. Hi, Julie. How are you doing? So yeah, um, and it's really cool because... Krista's boyfriend also has a Harley. So, um, when Randy has time now, which is gonna be a while, but I would love to get some vlogging of Krista and her boyfriend and me and Randy. We're gonna go on some beautiful tours and, well, not really tours, but you know, rides. But Krista's like, Krista, if anybody's wondering, is my daughter. She's like, I do not wanna go on the freeway. She's a nurse and she, she's, she sees the worst of the worst that comes in the hospital and a lot of it some of it is you know car accidents motorcycle accidents so she's not real keen on going on a freeway on the motorcycle sorry i got eyelash in my eye guys but um ouch i'm really excited about that so oh did you really oh man i i grew up on motorcycles with my dad but I've never been in a motorcycle accident before, but I've uh, seen some real bad stuff, you guys. And and then, like I always tell, hi, Julie. I always tell everybody, you know, it's not, like I tell my husband, it's not you I'm worried about being on the motorcycle with. I've ridden with him a ton, a ton. It's the other people I'm worried about. Yeah, wouldn't that be something? Get all my little vlogging done and <laughs> that, there's a video for you. Ooh. No, I'm just kidding. I would never want that to happen. Dag nabbit. Something. So, yeah. I'm so happy the comments are still coming through. Thank goodness. Um, I still have some things that um for sale. I'm, but, oh, you know what I'm thinking of doing, you guys? I might go ahead and start doing Saturday purse sales um, if I have enough inventory, which I still do, because now I'm enjoying downsizing all of my things, not just things I've thrif thrifted, but my purses as well. I'm looking at everything as I'm talking to you. And I think I wanna go ahead and downsize my collection as well. Um, not that the only things I wouldn't be getting rid of are anything that my babies gave me or my husband because they're my life, my world, and everything they give me is a special, special gift. Um, but I'm thinking 
I have so many, many, many purses and wallets that I've collected myself for me. And I think maybe I'll just go ahead and offer them up. Maybe this Saturday we'll do this when I get up and going and everything. And if you're interested, great. If you're not great, whichever you like. Um, but I'm going to try to start minimalizing my purses and wallets. A lot of people ask, why are you doing, how could you get rid of the things that, you know, that you like so much? It's just because it, they come and they go with me. Unless, like I said, it's something that my family gives me. It's got, it doesn't have any... Or friends, or friends, a friend, my family or my friends. It doesn't really have an impact on me, so if it's stuff I bought myself, it, it doesn't mean anything. But, great. I gotta refresh the comments again. Hold on, my friends. I should be. This. I thrifted this last weekend. I thought it was really, really cute because I love the chain strap. Not cute. Like, I thrift myself, but am I really ever going to use this? I don't know. It's cute, though. It's gray, and it's like a leather. Not real leather. Faux leather, but this chain is just freaking rad. I like it. really like it a lot. But it's like, Tim, are you really going to use it? It's by Black Rivet. It's like brand new. I love noisy purses. I'm weird. Weird like that. It says cool crossbody. So that's like one of my purchases I made. What all do I have down here anyway? Oh yeah, everything else I... It is. It's an addiction. Purses are an addiction. You know what though? Listen to this, Courtney. <laughs> listen to this once you start like I've started my own business selling purses and all I think because I do it so much every day all day buying reselling packaging shipping I see so much income and outgo of handbags that you start going hmm I don't really want that and like I used to find myself going on eBay and searching for purses for me at Poshmark and and like all the time looking for this certain Michael Kors or this certain Kate Spade or just, you know, whatever. It's kind of like an addiction and then I found it and then I would be like, mm, now that I'm done with it, I found it, I don't really want it. I kind of feel that way all the time now. Like, um, you should, Courtney, get a Poshmark and then once you're done with what you, you know, you have, sell it. You know, you could, you could make probably the same thing you paid for it since you get your bags thrifted as well. Um, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong at all. And you're still, you know, you're getting your purse fix or whatever, but yet you're not losing any money. Is that you, Reed? Bubba? It is you. <laughs> it is you. Don't. You're scaring me. Why? Because that scared me. How? Because I heard walking in the hallway, and you know me. Everything scares me. <laughs> Come here, bubs. Nah. Nah. I love having, I love it when Reed's home. It's so fun. Hey. What? We're going to Popeye's chicken tonight? Yeah, I'm going to get the chopper. Okay. We're going to, we're going to get Popeye's chicken tonight. I haven't had that in forever. You have a ton of coach bags. You really should sell most of them. 1941 collection. Your red leather purse. Oh, darn it. What'd that say? Your red leather purse you love came from Goodwill for, oh, I didn't see it. You didn't send me a picture, Lisa. You gotta send me a picture. I wanna see your red leather purse. I saw your pink one that you bought. That one's real cute, the tote. Okay, that sounds good. Today I felt, good for you, Courtney. I'm so happy you got a nice brand wallet. That's wonderful. No, you know what? <laughs> okay, you guys, so listen, the mukbang thing. I didn't realize that I'd say probably most of my followers hate the sound of 
um, chewing and eating and stuff and can't stand seeing eating on vi on video. So I'm, I'm not going to ever do a mukbang. I did one like a year and a half ago or something like that just for the heck of it to see what happened. But when I asked you guys, I'm like, hey, do you want to see a, a couple weeks ago, I said, hey, do you guys want to see a mukbang with Reed and I? And I had people like, no, we're good. <laughs> so I'm like, no, no mukbangs. And I personally, I, oh man, I, I can't. Whoa, they're going fast now. I have three savers. Oh, I wish I had three savers here. Yeah. Um, We have, right near me, I have a... Sorry you ask again. Did you buy the white dream catcher wallet? Oh, I'm sorry. I missed it. I didn't even know you asked. No, I didn't buy that one. Should I have? <laughs> I, I kept it there. Did I sell the Chloe? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's nasty. There's... I can't stand... Okay, here's some things I can't stand. Being crude on camera. Hello, Kara. I don't like being crude and chewing like and showing your food and I tell you what there's something I'm gonna work on you guys I'm gonna work on this for you listen okay so I want to explain something to you and I I'm hoping everybody hears this and understands my worst habit on YouTube is not chewing or eating but it's using the word retard and I was thinking about it. I don't know why but like I'd say like a week ago, it just came to me. I was doing something and when back in my age, I'm, I'm 40, gonna be 48 next, 49 next month with the world. And growing up in my age group, retard was kind of like dork or it was never meant to be derogatory. And I feel so horrible that I have hurt some people who have um, maybe children or family members or somebody that do have um, maybe are slow or have autism or maybe they have Down syndrome. I don't know, whatever it is. But I don't know if you've noticed, but in my videos lately, I don't ever, ever, ever use the, the I'm gonna call it the R word because I don't even wanna say it anymore. Um, because I just realized that Kim, you know what? That's probably one of the most derogatory words you can use. And I recently had, let's see, how do I wanna put this? I recently met up with somebody that I, I don't know how to say this. I just don't want to be ugly. Let's just say that, I just don't wanna be ugly. And I wanna be the best person I can be. I don't want to be ugly, meaning stuff that I say, we just ask me verify ugly. Um, stuff that I what comes out of my mouth. I don't want things that come out of my mouth to be ugly. And I think saying that is ugly and it could be very hurtful. And I just want to apologize publicly for ever using that word because I never, ever, ever meant it towards anybody. It was just a slang that I would use, but I shouldn't have even used a slang. I'm gonna have to change this title because I want to let everybody, I'm sending a public apology to anybody, everybody I've ever offended. Um, and I don't know why, <coughs> it's, it's choking me up a little bit. I don't know why, it just hit me like a week ago that I really need to watch the things I say the things I do, the people I hang out with. Um, this was all my own decision, had to do with nobody else influencing me. It is just who I want to be and who I don't want to be. And that was one of the things that I really, really had, I have to fix. Oh, whoops, I gotta, I gotta refresh you guys again. Hey, Reed, can you bring me my charger cord? My battery's going dead. Oh. Yeah, where's that? So, it's in the living room. So, please, I hope you'll accept my apology. Um, I never, ever, ever want to use that word again. I thought since HRH could get away with it, you know, and her saying that 
oh, you know, I don't give a F and blah, 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 what people think about what I say, uh, that I could. And no, it, it was dumb and it was unheartfelt. And I am very serious about this. Thank you, honey. Mm -hmm. I gotta plug you guys in real quick. And I just want you to guys to know I'm very, very, very sorry for, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you guys off real quick here. I won't turn the phone off. Ooh, I won't turn the phone off, but I just have to fix the uh, charger here because I'm about to die. You guys are about to die on me, so hold on. Oh man. Where's the plug-in? Shoot. Oh, um, man, Reed, we don't have an extension cord, do we, nearby? Nope. Son of a gun. Okay, here's, here's one down here. Hold on, guys, I'm sorry about this. Okay. I hope... I hope that should work. I can't get back in my holder now, though. Well, I know I've told you guys in the last video that um, some of you know me pretty good, others don't, and I just, I'm going to have to hold this because of the cord until it charges. I just, I can't allow drama in my life. There's going to be haters no matter what. Somebody's going to hate me because of the way I look or the way I talk or the way I wear my clothes or... There's always, always going to be that one person, or two, or ten, or a hundred, I don't know. But I think that that's fine if somebody wants to hate me for something I can help. Wait, how's it? It's okay if somebody wants to hate me for things I can help. But it's not okay to help hate me for things I can't help. Um, and I can help the way I respect people's feelings on certain words and you know and I I am very sorry I just because I'm very sorry and I don't know how many times I gotta say that but I never want to hurt any of you because you all you guys are all way too loyal to me and you guys mean the world let me set you down here I think so nope that's not working gosh I gotta find something to set you on um, poop. I need a box or something. Oh, poop. Here, you know what? Let me take my glasses off here because my arm's going to fall off, you guys. So hold on. But yeah, there's... Does that work? Even the millennials now have their own sling. I know, they do. Um, hold on, guys. I'm just trying to... Oh. But, you know, I'm not 18, 19, 20. Heck, I'm not 30s. I'm in my late 40s. I'm almost 50 now. And it's not okay to use those kind of words. It's just not, it's not okay and it's hurtful to people. And the last thing I ever wanna to do to anybody ever is hurt them. Um, but I have to watch who I hang out with and I have to, you know, be the best person I can be. Stay away from the drama, stay away from all drama. It's what I gotta do. It's, I don't, I don't like drama, I can't take it. Like they're just, if it's, I don't know, I don't even know what to say. There's always gonna be somebody out there that hates me. There's gonna be people that love me and the people that wanna stay with me will and the ones that don't, won't. Um, this is really starting to kill my arm here. How about if, all right, suggestions, suggestions. What if I put, ooh, I think I got it, you guys. Got it. Yes, I am. I'm, it's a little, sorry the phone's a little crooked. Um, there, now we got it. Just gotta put it this way, guys. You have to be very careful who you let in your life, who you don't let in your life. 
And I'm one of those people, I'm an empath, man. I'm an empath and I really, really have to be careful because I can be bamboozled so easily, but no more. You know, I, I just, I can't do that because empaths are the one who usually get torn down because um, when you care so much for somebody, you have a tendency to put the other person's issues to the side, to put them away, and they'll end up hurting you in the end. And I know I'm an empath, but I always have been my whole life. That's why I do what I do outside of YouTube is I love helping people. It's my thing. I love it. God created me to help people when I can, I think. Um, and yeah, so that's, I think that's about all I can say right now. Um, as far as that goes. I know a lot of you probably know exactly what I'm talking about, but I am a very, very happy mama, a very, very happy wife, and I'm going to keep it that way. That's all there is to it. And just so you know, all the decisions I make, I always like to discuss with my children because they're grown. And I like to get their input on things because they're smart and they love me and they're gonna give me their honest to God opinion. And of course, my husband, I let him know what I'm feeling and he's gonna give me his opinion and majority rules, so. And then I also have my sweet, beautiful sister, Lisa, who also, I gotta refresh you guys again. Um, who also, opinion is extremely important to me and I go with it. I know how I feel, but I, I always want reassurance from the ones that I love, the, my best friends, my, my lover, my kids, you know, I want everybody's opinion and before I make a huge decision on anything. And then when I got their opinions on things and I'm just not a drama girl, and this, this video is drama. <laughs> I started out just to show you some really cute vintage purses and I ended up apologizing and, but that needed to be done. That needed to be done. I had been planning on doing that for the past week, just didn't know how to bring it up. Um, but I really hope anybody that sees this that has watched me in the past will know that I'm sorry and that that's all I can do is never ever say it again and my apologies. So come on, let's get the comments fixed here, YouTube. Should be coming up in a second, y'all. And then I'll go back and... So you guys know that two of my very favorite things and my favorite words are stay humble and stay kind. Be hung, Stay humble, be kind. That's, that's what it's all about. And by me saying that R word, that's not being kind at all. Like, what are you, what are you thinking, Ken? Get, your, get yourself straight. And I did and you're not gonna hear it from me ever again. We all make mistakes, right? Hopefully, hopefully you guys make mistakes too. <laughs> Come on, YouTube, fix the comments. <laughs> Poopsicles. Okay guys. I'm not exactly sure why we have this issue here. Okay, refreshed it again. So if you think I'm ignoring you, please don't. I'm just not getting any rolling comments again. I'll let you know as soon as they come up. I'm just waiting here. What are you doing back there? See my baby? Quit your licking your toes. Quit licking your toes. I think she's gonna get a bath tonight. You wanna go to the groomers? Oh, you wanna go to the groomers? Come here. She's like, no, I do not, thank you very much. Oh, you're my big bear, my big bear. There we go. Let's just lay down and relax. Oh, the life of a Shih Tzu. Oh, the life of a Shih Tzu. Yeah, you're my baby. All comments are gone, and I don't know why, you guys. 
I know somebody's saying something. Gosh darn. Buggy, we have a problem. Ah. See that wall, see that hole right there? <laughs> when my daughter lived here, she opened the door a little too hard one day and I left it just because it brings back memories. <laughs> yeah, back when our babies were little, huh, Bug? Yeah, Beep boo Oh, you guys, there's no more comments coming up, so I guess I'm gonna have to go ahead and leave this video. Um, yeah. I'll try one more time, okay? Well, guys, I guess I'll call it an evening. Um, after Reed gets out of the shower, we're going to go get some Popeye's chicken and maybe watch a movie together and enjoy our Friday night together and with my puppy dogs. What you, oh my gosh, I want you guys to see her. Where are you at? What you doing back there, monkey? Watching me break my teapots. What you doing back there, little monkey? Look at your hair. You look like mama with your hair all messed up. Yeah. Yeah. You're a precious girl. Isn't she sweet? She looks like a little gremlin. Yeah. He's looking like a little gremlin. I love you. I love you, puppy dog. All right, guys. 